So it's only natural as an artist pursuing art that you tend to paint what you love and what you're interested in. And I grew up in Oklahoma on a farm and in the front of our farmhouse was a lot of trees that we called the woods. So the trees were magical to me. I would sing to them, I would make up stories. I enjoyed, you know, the comfort and the beauty of the trees and I knew they were magical then. And uh, that has only been proven stronger. Years ago, I could stand and work four hours at a time, but at this point, I can stand and work but it's more like an hour at a time. And then also my little dog gets, uh, she has to have attention from time to time. Whoops, there's my little, hello. Yes, yes, has it been long enough? <laughs> my journey into the visual arts started rather late in life. Ever since being a child, I enjoyed drawing for fun and I had never been exposed to art. I grew up in the country, a small country school. There was no art in the school. So a few years later, I'm in Fort Smith. I have four children and uh, they were in play school and I had at least two days where I had a little time to myself. And I had a friend that said, Linda, if you're serious about art, why don't you go out to the uh, West Art Community College and take some art courses there. They have a great art department. And so I thought, ah, that's what I'm going to do. I ended up taking one art class at a time, every art class, printmaking, painting, drawing one, drawing two, art history, over a period of almost five years, and just absorbing it and loving it. It was like doors had opened for me. I knew that this was what I wanted to do. So I'm working with a uh, colored pencil, which I love to work with, but it is not forgiving. So if you make some mistakes, you can adjust and deal with, but you don't erase when you're at this point. I'm sitting here surrounded by these amazing Arkansas trees and I thought, well, why not start, you know, a whole series on Arkansas trees? And for years, that's what I did. I was known as the tree lady back then. I'm just gonna take off and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to find, as, locate as many of these trees as I can, photograph them, come back to my studio, create drawings of these amazing trees, and who knows, someday I might have an exhibit of champion trees. I thought this was going to be a project, uh, art and nature, but come to find out, it was a, it's history because these trees, most of them, when they're so big, are old and they have this history and the people that own them have stories about how that tree has meant something to them in their lives and their children. This project, this whole thing with the trees has been just a thank you for how the trees have been so important to me throughout my life. And I have been given that gift to be able to do this.